Oh, I was not on the first time, so now we're on. We're on air, live from Saturday night. No, what is it? Live from New York, it's Saturday night! One of the most difficult things in cardistry, in my opinion, is to be able to do a combo with a set of somewhat difficult or even easy moves, especially when they require some type of coordination with both hands. Doing the bullet with one hand is fairly simple when you have enough practice, and doing the move flicker is very easy with the other hand. But coordinating these hands together, doing both moves at the same time, and then ending with a card flick from one hand to the other, not easy. So that's why I'm thinking of starting this series on my YouTube channel called Cardistry Combos. And in these types of videos, we'll see what moves that we can put together to create beautiful combos. One thing to note is that this series will not go into in-depth tutorial of teaching the moves. So for example, we just discussed bullet and flicker. We're not gonna cover each of those moves in detail, maybe just do like a quick high level tutorial, but then mainly spend our time talking about how to go from one move to the other or do them both simultaneously. So if in-depth tutorials is what you're looking for, you're screwed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll see if I can find the full tutorial on the moves that we're going to be covering in the video and then link them down in the description so you can watch those videos before this one or after, you know, just depending whenever you have time. So without any further ado, let's kick off episode one of Cardistry Combos. What up, crew? Welcome to the Cardistry Combo series, and I already explained what it is, so... Today we'll be taking a look at the moves Pincho and ATM. Pincho is a minimalistic one-packet twirl done with one hand, and uh, ATM is pretty much a card flick from one hand to the other. So given that background, let's get into doing the high level tutorials and uh, then we'll go ahead and incorporate those moves together. So the version of Pincho that I'm gonna be covering for our purposes will look something like this. Grab a small packet of cards, do the move, and then you're gonna end in a battle grip. So with that being said, starting off this move, I'm holding the deck in my non-dominant hand in a straddle grip like so. My uh, dominant hand's gonna come over and grab the corner that's closer to my non-dominant hand, and my pinky is gonna grab the corner closer to my dominant hand. And we're grabbing this packet coming in like so. Okay, just like this with our dominant hand. Once you've grabbed it by the corners, and I would say you wanna grab maybe between five to 10 cards, really no more than that, otherwise it does become a little bit difficult. But once you've done this, you're gonna hold the packet like so. And now using your middle finger and ring finger, you'll grab the short edge of the packet on top here, and pull that in towards you. So as you're pulling it in, you'll see that the fingers curl in, and then you wanna push those fingers out so they straighten and the packet twirls like so. So up to speed, you're grabbing, twirling like so, and make sure your index finger is not underneath this packet, but actually above this packet. So it looks like this. Once we're in this position, we're gonna come over, release with our pinky finger like this, and really pinch this packet between our index finger here and our middle finger down here. We're gonna come and curl both of these fingers in, the middle finger and the uh, middle, uh, sorry, middle finger and the index finger, curl them both in like so, having this kind of grip here. All right, you could also release with your thumb. And I kind of like to give this packet a little bit of a push at this corner here, because uh, now what you're gonna do is release with your thumb and using your middle finger, you're gonna try to push this packet over that index finger like so. So as you can see, it is, get back to my position. So your hand is like this. You push up a little bit, it's gripped like this. Use your middle finger to kind of twirl that over. Your thumb is gonna make contact with the corner opposite to your middle finger. Your middle finger is also holding on, making contact with this corner, by the way. And then you're gonna use your index finger now. You can see my index finger here. Index finger is gonna curl like so, and then straighten out while also straightening out the rest of this packet. One more time real quick, grab it like this, twirl it around, grab this corner, release with the pinky finger, uh, almost pinching this corner here. I push up with my thumb just a small amount, push this over, grip with the thumb and middle finger here, then I can come over like this. I shift the grip just a little bit, end up in a little grip, and that's Pincho. And for a full tutorial, I'll put the link to it down in the description. Definitely check it out if you don't know this move that well. Now that we took a quick look at uh, Pincho, we're gonna be going over ATM, where we grab a small packet of cards from the top of the deck, twirl it around, and then shoot out one card at a time from this packet to the rest of the deck. So a quick tutorial on this, I'm starting off holding the deck in my non-dominant hand in a mechanics grip. Your thumb is gonna come to the bottom corner that's away from the hand you're holding it in. So for me, since I'm holding the deck in my left hand, my thumb, my dominant thumb is gonna go to the bottom right hand corner and my middle finger is gonna go to the top 
left-hand corner. So here and here. And I'd say, again, grab maybe about five to 10 playing cards. So there you go, did your grab. And now your index finger here for your dominant hand is gonna twirl this packet around. So similar to what we did in uh, Pincho, we twirl this around, curl in, straighten out. And then this finger is now gonna apply pressure upwards uh, on this packet. And then our ring finger here is gonna come over and the fleshy part of our ring finger is going to try to grab this card. And our main goal is to dislodge this top card from where it's tucked in into the middle finger. So we wanna go from here to here, that's it. Our main goal is to dislodge that card. And this is honestly where I had the most trouble when first learning ATM, getting this card dislodged. But once you got that figured out, the action of doing the flick from one hand to the other is actually quite easy, uh, just ignore that. But getting to this position is pretty easy if you have a little bit of experience with cardistry. The most difficult part, again, is just dislodging. So a few tips I can give you, make sure to push up with the index finger and uh, that'll make dislodging this card easier. Let me give you a closer view on how I'm doing it. So I'm here. Uh, it makes as much contact as possible. If your hands are completely dry, this is a bit difficult. So maybe try to use a bit of lotion, maybe that'll help. Um, and here, all you're doing is dislodging from this corner. You want that top corner to be out, and once the top corner is out, you can flick the cards till kingdom come, or when you have no more cards left. Now that I've shown you both of these moves, let me show you how I incorporated them both together. So I start off with the same uh, pincho grip. I come here, do the pincho, and here at this point, I get into ATM, and I can immediately start shooting those cards out. Up to speed, it looks something like this. And of course, feel free to do whatever you want with your other hand as well. So putting these moves together, I'm going to grab the bottom left-hand corner, the bottom uh, non-dominant hand corner with my thumb, and the top dominant hand corner with my pinky finger coming over like this. Again, grabbing five to 10 cards. Let me just grab this many, that should be good enough. And now we execute Pincho, it's the same, exact same way that we did. Get to this step, twirl around. And now once we come here, we're not gonna go into a middle grip, but we're gonna come here, straighten out this uh, index finger, and now curl it back in the exact same way that we started ATM, right? We had started like this when the thumb had grabbed uh, the bottom corner here and the middle finger had grabbed the top corner here. We're gonna start, whoops, we're gonna start the same way and we can twirl this in, do the exact same thing and then execute ATM. One more time in slow motion, for those of you who missed it, grab a small packet of playing cards, execute Pincho, twirl that around, grip right here. Normally how we do, twirl this packet over that index finger. Now we're grabbing here with middle finger and thumb. Go around like this, pull back with that index finger. That'll bring you into the ATM grip. And now you have the full freedom to flick cards until your heart is content. And one more thing to note, um, as you get better with the technique for this move, try to incorporate some wrist movements because this is what it looks like without any wrist movement or at least just a minimal amount of wrist movement, right? There we go. And uh, doing it with the wrist movement, I think it looks so much better. It just looks a lot more flashy. There's, uh, I don't know, there's a, there's a next level factor about it that'll really just make your cardistry moves pop. And that brings it into the first episode of the Cardistry Combo series. You can think of this as kind of like the pilot episode in this series, and this is where I need your help. Should I continue making episodes just like this? So if you did enjoy it and you wanna see more episodes like this, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below on your thoughts. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of Cardistry Combos.